Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, it's been a few months since I got my telescope out, and of course I got it out for the eclipse on August 21st, 2017. Uh, we also had a pinhole camera out uh, along with the telescope. And we were performing a little experiment that came from Nuts and Bolts magazine. In other words, we, uh, according to the experiment, they wanted people to attach a solar cell and keep it pointed toward the sun and measure the voltage change as the eclipse took place and then report that. <clears throat> so that's what we did. We mounted that onto the telescope and uh, of course the telescope was tracking the sun and we were making sure, checking it, making sure it was pointed right at the sun and uh, Larry Jennings, uh, president of the Sabine Valley Amateur Radio Association, was taking measurements of the voltage uh, on a computer back in the garage and uh, plotting them on a chart. Uh, once he gets all his data done, I think he's going to submit an article about it to Nuts and Bolts, Bolts, B-O-L-T-S, uh, magazine. And while we were out there, I just recorded a very short video, which I'll attach here on the end so you can take a look at it, kind of give you an idea of what we were doing. He was using an Arduino board to uh, basically drive the solar cell and report the voltage uh, to the computer. So kind of a unique little experiment we performed. There was a dip, dip in voltage, uh, you know, as I would say as we passed about 30 percent or so uh, coverage of the moon over the sun, there was a dip in the voltage and of course it continued on dipping until uh, we got to about 75 percent here in Dallas, Texas. And then uh, he recorded it as it was increasing uh, on the other side of the, of the eclipse. So with that said, I'm going to kind of attach this to the little short video that we did in the garage, just to give you a view of uh, what we were doing. And uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wish you uh, clear skies of 73 and keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single day. Be good. And the video is coming up in just a few moments. So just stay tuned. The August uh, 2017 copy of Nuts and Volts magazine. And I'm, I have built the solar intensity monitor using a laptop, a Arduino board, and a sensor, uh, which is on the telescope, which I'm sure Joe will show you in a little bit. Now, the sensor uses uh, the, the, excuse me, the computer uses a thing they call maker plot, and it, uh, there is a setup for this solar intensity monitor that you can download, and I have done that. I have uh, done that so it will modify it, and here's what will happen. We are uh, going to start recording here at uh, 821, 11, at 1120. That's when we're going to start about 20 minutes before the actual start of the eclipse. A data will be logged to file. They have a hundred or have 220 minutes. That's three hours and 40 minutes that we're going to record. The data is received from the Arduino board through a USB cable at 115,200 115, bits per second. Our system is on, uh, turned on and working. The plot will appear across here as a dotted line or a solid line because the dots are usually so close together that you can't see any difference. We are also recording the time and date 
uh, and the amount of every dot that we do. Now, as it goes across, the line will come across here, and as the eclipse occurs, it will go make some kind of a curve downward and then return to its uh, normal uh, state. So, so we're actually tracking voltage. We are tracking voltage from a solar cell. Yeah. That, and a solar cell came off of one of those little uh, things that you put, put on the side of your walkway or your driveway that solar cells charge a battery and then at night they light up a little LED. Yeah. And I had <laughs> one of those and that was my solar cell that I <laughs> captured. And Joe will show you what the sensor looks like on top of the telescope. We're putting it on top of the telescope because the telescope will track the sun as it moves through the sky. And by putting our, our sensor right on top of the telescope, that means our sensor will track with the telescope. And so that the sun's rays will always be perpendicular to the, to the solar cell at all times. And we don't have to worry about problems with uh, glancing and off angle uh, sun coming in. Now on the solar cell uh, thing, you will see a small thing that I have made out of a paper cup. It's painted uh, silver. And that's to prevent uh, reflected light from getting into, uh, a lot of reflected light getting into the solar cell and disturbing our reading. So it should be getting sunlight right now. And, and I have right over here, I have a voltage, a voltmeter and it's getting 2.112 volts. That's the, what the solar cell is producing right now. My uh, Arduino board will be turning that. It uses the A to D system right there, A0, and it goes from the 3.3 volt over to the uh, external input. So we're digitizing with a 3.3 volt phase instead of a 5 volt which gives us a better definition of the voltage. Yeah. All right, I'm going to walk outside now and show you the scope. Of course, we got cable running along the ground. And John Sunderson is out here. He's trying to take a picture of the sun through the eyepiece. And here's the telescope. Let me get on this side. And you can see Larry uh, Jennings' little sensor up there. I, we just zip tied it to the uh, finder scope on top and that's his solar cell that's uh, and of course the scope is tracking the sun so it stays uh, perpendicular with the sun so he gets a good voltage reading anyway that's the whole idea and of course uh, we can look through that eyepiece right here and actually see if we're centered on the sun and make sure it's not drifting. Anyway, that's the experiment being performed right now and I believe there's going to be an article in Nuts and Bolts. Well, we're going to write an article for Nuts and Bolts. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know if they'll accept it in print. Yeah, yeah. but uh, Larry's going to send them an article about this experiment during the, uh, during the eclipse. So we'll see what happens. Anyway. <laughs>